Hey, welcome back to Fox and Raven Recording. Uh, today's a new video. I've got me a cup of tea here because I just felt like having a cup of tea. Um, so we got our tea. We got a new video coming here. So um, today's video is kind of something different in the schemes of basically we're trying to figure out um, when we have too much content from an artist. Um, lately we've been working with a lot of hip-hop people and hip-hop people give you lots of tracks and you know they've got overdubs and they've got layers and and ad-libs and this hook and that thing and this track anyways usually they give you a stereo track occasionally we'll make something but usually there's a stereo track that's involved and as my thought process has gone and it's been on my mind for about you know two or three days about this is how to know when a artist has given you too many tracks too much content um the song may not need that much you kind of get halfway through a song and you're realizing oh i don't need this vocal here i don't need this guitar part or whatever there you know i can get rid of things you kind of get to that point and usually for me it's about halfway through the song so halfway through a song i'll be mixing or editing or something i realize Man, this this guy, he's recorded too many tracks. He's got too too much uh, vocal layers. And sometimes when you have too many vocal layers, it can really muddle up things. You can try to figure out what's going on. It's too busy. Sometimes you just got to strip it back and just start over. Um, I'm actually dealing with that right now with a, with a track that I'm working on. And I might, if I can get permission, I might put that on the channel on how I've edited it and make that work for us. But... Um, as I've moved forward, I've come to realize that in Logic, I can chop things up. I can do whatever I want. And every DAW does this. You can chop them up, move them around, detune, tune up, you know, auto-tune, all that fun stuff. This video is very off the cuff, I know. Um, but it was just kind of something that was on my mind of, okay, how to know when um, to have stuff be erased. Like, get, let's just get rid of it. Um, sometimes you'll have something where your vocals, you'll have this hook line and, or this vocal line that's great. And then they'll add these layers to it. And the layers don't necessarily match up with what's going on. Now you can move things around and get things to line up that way, but they might be saying something different. And sometimes that is cool. Sometimes it's a desired effect, but sometimes you just realize you're like, okay, I have this hook line this chorus line and then I've got these backgrounds that are kind of saying something a little bit different and sometimes that's like a desired effect but usually it's it's one of those things where it's like if they don't say the exact thing just cut it just get rid of it it'll clean it up um, and if it's too much of a problem have the artist come back in and have them retract stuff you know it's not too much to ask someone to come back and hey can you retract this one line for me you know it's I think it really make your 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 song pop or i make the section work much better than it did before so um that's kind of what i've been dealing with the last few days here and um it's working out well um thought i'd make a video about it uh and you know what we're moving forward so we do have um a track we're working on with it with a feller um i cannot remember his name otherwise i tell you actually i don't know if i could tell you if i could remember it so anyways um i want permission for from the person first um but we've got all the gear hooked up we've got everything working well in here um so we've got a band coming in this weekend so that's kind of a new thing um well actually by the time this rolls out it'll be probably next week weekend or last weekend um we are working with a couple other artists and stuff coming up here so we'll see how that goes and we got some concerts going but um you just gotta know the line when you've got too much content too many guitar lines too many vocal lines you know too many drum mics sometimes sometimes you gotta strip stuff back and it's now i do know it's easier to strip stuff back than it is to put stuff in but still you gotta almost commit just commit to what you're doing you know make that call of I'm going to have this many tracks in it and that's it. Or I'm going to have this certain sound and it's going to involve this certain thing and just commit to it. So anyways, you know, thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting the likes and subscribe. Uh, we have hit 300 uh, subscribers. So yay, uh, 300 subscribers. 
Um, we're still working on getting more content and stuff out. So, but if you've liked our channel, um, you want to get notifications on what we're doing, um, hit that bell. Um, if you liked this video and want to see more, you can also subscribe. That's we love our subscribers. So thank you those who have subscribed. So like I said, if you, if you like our stuff, hit the like, hit the subscribe and you know what? Go make some music and enjoy the fall weather.